Ah. Hey, 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 what's up with my best girlfriends? So for this fall makeup tutorial, I'm gonna start off with just powdering my face. You know, you could use whatever you want. Um, I don't know what brush this is for. Maybe it's for like blush or something. Whatever, I'm just using it because I got it on sale. So I'm just gonna dab everywhere. Uh, I always put more on my cheeks. The more on my cheeks for me is just the better, you know, like, which side looks better? Like, cheese, like, you could really tell my smile. And, uh, oh, there we go, that's very nice. And then I'm just gonna try to blend it in a little bit. Don't, don't blend too much. Like, you're paying a lot for this makeup, and you want to make sure that it's being seen. Because if not being seen, it's not worth it at all. Mmm, okay, mmm. And wow, um... If it looks a little bit like tribal stripes, it's fine. Don't worry, you're doing a great job. I'm gonna take out my eyeliner. Um, you have to be careful with eyeliner. For me, the more the merrier. If your eyeliner is too thin, I don't understand why you're even wearing it. So right now, I'm just gonna close my eyes like this. I'm just gonna lean back. I find that's the easiest way to put on eyeliner. Uh, as you guys can tell, I did it on top of my eye, like in the middle. And that's because I like my eyeliner really thick and when it's wet if you like open your eye and you try to stain it at the back as well it gives you a really nice rippled effect you know like this is things that the really high-end designers do ho, 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 ho. so you start very thin and you go very 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 thick um you know this reminds guys of when Rihanna got punched in the face by Chris Brown and everyone loves Rihanna 100%, right? So don't you want to look beautiful like Rihanna? I think I do. Um, I like to do one eye bigger than the other. I feel like it's just really artsy and it's not that popular yet. So if we start this trend, a lot of people will do it. Oh, it's wet. Oh, try to get it. Oh, this crease is even better than that one. This one just got really blurry. That one just got a dot. But I want to match this side, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to fill it in by myself. I really like it because it's like an eyebrow on top of an eyebrow. You know, you could never have too many eyebrows. Two is not enough. I'm so pretty. Oh my god. Woo, that's fantastic. Well, now that you're done with your eyeliner, so these are just some sparkles I picked up, you know, but if you can't afford this glittery eyeliner, you could go to the dollar store and get some glue, and then if you glue the sides of your face and stuff and just put that glue on, it's fine, don't worry. But I want it all over my face. Why? Because I like to sparkle. Try to put the sparkles, you know, more on your nose. So after that, I'm just going to finish up with some mascara. Pump it up. Pump it up. But I'm going to teach you guys a little trick today. Stroke on my face, right? It just adds a little brush effect and it, you just pretend your eyelashes are bigger. I feel like hairier women get more attention. So if you just want to use this brush and just help fill in the middle. Not too much. You don't want a very deep unibrow. But if you do a, just a nice even, an even unibrow, that's very attractive as well. So I have a little trick. So this is my lips from here. That's normally where you start the lip liner. I'm gonna start the lip liner from the bottom because I want my lips to look bigger. Mm-hmm, yeah. There we go. Okay, that's so hot. So here's my lip liner. I'd recommend just using a clear lip gloss and just, you know, just fill it in. Yeah, and leave the lip liner really thick. The lip liner looks hot. From close, obviously, you can tell. But from far away, it's like, wow, that girl has really big lips. Check it out. My lips look big, right? I know. I just, I'm just teaching you guys all these fantastic secrets. So I'm just going to do the thick over it. Mm -hmm. Red lips are my favorite. I also like to add a little bit of lipstick on my teeth. I feel like it gives the guys an excuse to talk to me. Like, hey, you've got lipstick on your teeth. What's your number? And I'm just like, ah, ha, 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 ha. If you want to do eyeshadow go ahead so uh, I like my eyebrows to look okay so I'm just gonna go ahead I like to do the smoky effect so to do the smoky effect you have to get a very dark color and just follow the crease of your eyebrow and then when you want to do the thin color you put it on the inside <sighs> and there's chunks of it falling on my eyelashes that's really hot it's totally like Harajuku style Gwen Stefani does it just grab a pencil and shape them up I'm gonna show you with this green one because I don't have black but I don't know if this was black it blended in with my eyebrows and it made them look more pointy 
how you doing that's the look we're going for always wear eyebrows so all you have to do is just put it up put it up and then fold it yeah bring it out don't just fold it again you know the Jetsons look where she has a bone in her hair this is one way and then you can get these hair bands that make your hair look like there's a braid in them uh, even though my hair is an afro and this is straight no one will ever tell people will be like wow you braided your hair and it's a different color as well so it's fine it just looks like ombre and I also have this other headband and you could just use it as a scarf but um, I'm not gonna use that today and then of course I'm gonna put my bracelet on I'm gonna put this choker on and this is my final look so I still got the lipstick on the teeth don't forget the outer rim the sharp eyebrows we need the hair to complete it as well with a necklace very stunning very fall 2012 you know this style is so advanced people are gonna be dressing like this in 2020 and you're gonna be like wow that's so old thank you for watching my video and i hope you guys enjoy and maybe i'll be posting more winter makeup tips Mwah. bye